I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I'll walk it out. Hey everyone, Shane here, Shibby2142, with some commentary on Orcs Must Die. This is on the PC. I just picked it up yesterday on Steam for $15. Pretty awesome. So let me talk about it a little bit, tell you what I think, and kind of what it's about. So, this game, Orcs Must Die, is you are the hero guy here, and you kill orcs and ogres and other little monsters. Basically, it's a tower defense with shooters and maybe some RPG elements kind of tied in. So what happens is before a round starts you're placed in a level and then basically what I do is I walk around the level, look for choke points, little kill rooms that would work really nicely and then you get to pick your spells. So I base my spells or traps, stuff like that off what I see in the level. So right now I'm going with the fire, the ice, the sticky tar, the arrow wall, barricade, the axe wall and the mace and then the archer. I never use the archer though. At least in this level. For other levels when there's flying monsters, it's very good. So here I am setting up my defenses between rounds. And then you unleash the horde by pressing G. So pretty much I get to pick my spots here. Trying to force them through little areas that basically will get them killed. Because the orcs are pretty stupid. So I'm jumping around here because this round is about 20 minutes long. So maybe kind of a longish video I guess. But anyways... I'm here sitting on my barricade shooting these little freaking runner guys that are just really scary and they totally screw up my whole trap system. So what I did in this level was, I'm not really sure what the level was called, it was like Kill Frenzy or Kill Fields, something like that, where I blocked off the other side. If you see on the minimap top right, there's all the red, that's uh, all the bad guys. Basically barricade and block them off from continuing on that side so they have to come back so pretty much I can take out one mini wave and then take out the next pretty nicely so you saw me transition into the weaver screen there that's kind of a skill tree that you can go down throughout the different levels and I don't know it's kind of more advanced but basically since I'm working on more traps I went down the steel weaver I guess there's more than two weavers so I haven't really figured it out yet but yeah, I'm about two-thirds through the game. Here I am with my Steel Weaver, picking out the, all the traps. So basically, my traps are more powerful, they'll reset quicker. And I have so much money that I really don't need to do anything right now. So if you see bottom left, I have 2,400 coin or whatever the currency is, I'm not really sure. As you saw right there, I laid down a little fire trap that is an armored ogre. He's a uh, bad news. And what I was not expecting was him and his butt buddies to start smashing my barricades. Which really doesn't help me out, especially when those little freak things have the bomb strapped to their backs. And they really start, you know, effing stuff up. So, it's a good idea to freeze the ogres and go for the headshots because that really helps you out. So here I'm in panic mode. This is the last wave. So basically, I'm just laying stuff down, trying to do work. And what I did not realize is these little bastards... They broke through on the right side. Once again, if you check the mini-map top right, they're running. So I'm like, oh snap, holding down the shift button, getting my sprint on. Gonna try and protect the rift. That's what you gotta do. There's two rifts, one on either side that basically the orcs run into. And you have typically between 30 or 20 rift points to defend. This is on whatever the normal difficulty is. There is nightmare, but I'm just not quite ready for that. So, this is just complete panic mode. I thought I had this all, you know, tied up easy because... I don't know, my setup was really nice, and they started smashing barricades and all went to hell. So I am doing some decent defense here, smashing things in with my crossbow, getting it done with the fireballs as well. So that's kind of a typical round there. He does do a cool little dance once you win. You get a score out of five skulls. I get a four skull there because I screwed up with the barricades and they all broke. Check your stats, compare with friends, buy upgrades, stuff like that. So this is a little teaser, a little welcoming to org. Orcs must die, I can talk. I streamed this for four hours last night on my Twitch TV, so if you guys have a Twitch account or Justin TV, one in the same, please follow my Twitch. I'll have that in the video description, so right down there. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next time.